only one will be named tournament champion. Don't miss the RMAC Women's Volleyball Tournament. Sunday, November 14th, beginning at noon on Altitude. My background began when I was a little kid. I grew up in an area of the country where football is a passion. You're outside all day long. As soon as you get out of school, 3 o'clock till it gets dark, you're out there playing basketball, baseball, football, whatever it is, you're just playing constantly. And I've been that way all my life, and I just fell in love with sports. When I realized you could earn a living by following something that you love, it was just something I had. I was just so drawn to it, I couldn't pass it up. Jerome Jerenovich, now on Altitude Sports and Entertainment. We're back at West Point. Army trails 31-22. They need to score and score quickly. They are not a quick strike offense either. No, they're going to have to put pressure on Zach to try to throw some long balls here in these next drives to get a quick strike opportunity, which then puts them on the edge of the spear for interceptions and turnovers. So uh, they've got a dilemma, but they've got six minutes, under six minutes to do it. It's a possible thing to do, but it's going to be with their type of offense, they need to really be explosive. Earlier this season, Air Force lost to Navy 24-21. Greenaway's kick goes into the end zone. Army will start from the 20. And that was a terrific game in Colorado Springs. If you remember, it was on ESPN. Yes. And it appeared they didn't have enough time. And Navy drove down the field in less than a minute and got range for field, a field goal. And their kicker, their coach, Paul Johnson, called him the worst kicker in the country. Remember that? <laughs> yes. And he, and he <laughs> drilled it. He sure did. And Fisher and they, Mary kept calling the timeouts. They, yes, and he tried to ice him. Yeah. But he had been, his, his record was not good at all. Jones is in the ball game now. First half, 202 yards, only 14 yards the second half. Air Force has managed to shut him down. Well, they need him now. And he delivers a great block. Now has plenty of time, and now he runs with the football. And it run out of bounds, five-yard pickup. Stop the clock, 540 to play, fourth quarter. Air Force has gone back to their 3-3-5. Three, three, Jones with a great blitz pickup. Watch this. Nice block. Very good. Gave him some time, but he sacked, couldn't find a receiver, and he still had to run out of the pocket, picked up five yards. Keeps the ball moving downfield. Second and five. Air Force is going to play pass defense. Now they're bringing the corner, but they're bouncing off. Has his man first down, Aaron Alexander, out of bounds, up at the 40-yard line. I think Aaron, Aaron is back in that crowd on the sidelines. He's, I think he's hurt. He got up and did it. He sure did. Landed nice throw by position. Zach. Aaron makes a nice catch. Ooh, landed right in the side of his neck. Yep. He flipped him up in the air. We have called Chris Sutton's name quite a few times today. Sure have. He's a, he's a fine defensive player. One thing, you know, these defensive backs, that's the way they tackle. And, uh, you know, you like to see him put the shoulder in there and wrap him up. Boy, that one made him turn a cart field. Well, he's running off the field, and that's great. There you go. He's an outstanding receiver and a big target. They're going to need him for the rest of the drive. He'll be back in there. Alexander, a senior, his last game against Air Force. He's one of their top receivers of all times here at the Academy. First and 10 from the 40. Great defensive stop. You know who that was? Gil Perez again. He's played a whale of a yes. ball game. I think he's uh, worked his way into perhaps a starting slot. He's list listed on the depth chart as the backup at nose tackle. And the backup at defensive end. He has had a heck of a game. Second down and 12. 
the outside dangerous pass. Very dangerous pass. He's got a white jersey outside and a white jersey underneath him. Bring up third down and 12. Is this four down territory, Jack? No, but I will tell you this. Don't be surprised if it's short yardage. That's not this long yardage here. But in talking to Bobby Ross, given the nature of this game, if it was going to be short yardage, middle of the field, he was going for it on fourth down. He just felt that the game had to be won, and whatever it took to win it, he was going to do it. A big third down play now. Dobbins straight back. Over the middle. That ball was batted down. There's Russ Mitzgerling. Again, just ball awareness by that defensive line has really helped Air Force. I think that's about their third bat today. So Dyer and Forth will come on to punt it away with 4.50 to go in the fourth quarter. Good punt. Fair catch called for at the 23. Good call by Air Force. Catch the ball, pick the ball over, and run the football out. Try to eat this clock up. These are kind of the modern day gladiators fighting for their lives. This is the NBA. This league is for men. They're going out there trying to earn a living, otherwise it's zero. Hey, guess what? We made the team. Denver Nuggets real Hi, Coach Tiberi here. In football, the best measure of success is a championship. In LASIK, the only measure of success is 2020 vision. That's what you'll get at Buckley Vision Institute. 2020 vision or your money back. In fact, most Buckley patients enjoy better than 2020 vision. So set your sights on 2020 and join the only winning team that guarantees 2020 vision or your money back. Call Buckley Vision Institute today at 444-3000. Okay, here's a little pop quiz for you. Name any Oscar winner. Name one character from a Hollywood film. Easy, right? Oh. One more question. Name one character your kid learned about in English class. Know what really matters. Know about your kid's school. And know about your kid. Find out 100 ways to know more, do more. You're watching Altitude Sports and Entertainment. Fisher DeBerry, Bobby Ross got to know each other back in the 60s. Uh, Fisher coaching at Appalachian State. Bobby Ross coaching at the Citadel, both in South Carolina, played against each other. They've been friends for a long, long time. Fisher said it seemed like it was only yesterday that uh, uh, Bobby and his wife uh, Alice brought their son uh, uh, out there to go with Chris to go to the Air Force again. <laughs> First and ten, Fitch keeps it himself. Goes forward for a gain of four. What Air Force has to do here is keep the ball on the ground, make the yardage, run a couple counter plays, eat the clock up, and then punt the football away. Adam Fitch, 21 carries, 116 yards. The junior from Gillette, Wyoming, his first start today. And boy, he has made the most of it, Jack. Well, he sure has. And, and I thought that for sure that we would see uh, Sean Carney in this ball game. But Adam Fitch has just closed him out by his spectacular play today. And he was the uh, jump start that Fisher needed for his football team. Darnell Stevens. Oh, oh, check that. That's Anthony Butler who gets popped. But he gains three. Caleb Campbell on the tackle. We've called his name enough times today. Again, though, another one of those undersized linebackers, defensive lineman. Campbell only about 220. And he's a freshman. He's a true freshman that's playing. 
Bobby Ross, national championship, 1990, Georgia Tech. Took the Chargers to the Super Bowl. And let's not forget Maryland, Boomer Esiason says he would not have been an all-pro quarterback without Bobby Ross. Georgia Tech, the national champions, shared it with Colorado. And then got his break to go to the National Football League and is the only coach to ever take the Chargers to the Super Bowl. They just happened to run into a red-hot San Francisco 49ers team. They sure did. And then did a nice job with the Detroit Lions. Uh, Barry Sanders, that unexpected retirement. That was a shock to everybody. It just, just, he just walked away. And then Bobby Ross, uh, after four seasons with the Lions, decided it was time to spend some time with the grandchildren. I remember doing a Lions game years ago, and he had all his grandkids in the lobby with him. And Wait. I talked to him the other day, he goes, I still have grandkids. They're just a little older now. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you saw that piece on ESPN about how coaches are burning themselves out, yeah. the hours that they work, and uh, being an old coach and having done the same thing, I certainly understand it. We just thought it was what you had to do to win, and you were there until 2, 3 in the morning, and the coaches are doing that, and, and it's a very pressured job, and it's getting more highly pressured because of the salaries that they're paying today. Third down and three. Air Force. And Adam Fitch. Looking to milk the clock some more. Fitch will keep it himself. And he's brought down short of the first down. In fact, he loses a yard. Deion Tarver jumps in there. Makes a nice play. Bring up fourth down. And another timeout. Army still has one timeout remaining. Carver coming in on the play. Good tackle. Good hold. Now they got to see. They got to punt the football. They got to get the football back, and they've got to make a quick score here. Hope for a turnover, get a field goal, and try to pull the game out in 347. That's a big, tall order. I know Fisher DeBerry's over there. Hoping that he can win the football game and stop the slide of his end of season play for the last three years. Try to win the next couple of ball games, have a winning record, and try to slide into a bowl game somewhere. Bobby Ross, this has got to be a tough loss for him because this was a loss. This was a win that, that could have put him into the Army Navy game with an opportunity to play for the Commander in Chief Trophy. And what a what a big plus that would have been for this Army team coming off of this year and a first year. Today's game is being seen worldwide on ESPN Broadband. Again, hello to the troops overseas watching this game. Thanks to the folks from Army and Air Force, which allowed us to do that today. And there's the punt. Johnny Heaton with that rugby style, rugby maneuver a lot of punters are doing nowadays. And from behind, a great stop by Jared Baxley. A little trickery there by the Air Force, starting to make it look like they were going to run the football and do the soccer kick. And uh, but this, the Army safety was back there to pick it up, and and that ball bouncing is always difficult to handle. Uh, this is something. The turnovers today: Air Force none, Army one. And it was a big turnover at the time, nine to nothing, Army. They were driving in for another score. Diamond throws that interception, turned the game around, turned total. it around, and put Air Force in the driver's seat, which they. They uh, haven't relinquished. Diamond straight back. Has his man first down. Excellent throw, and they've got the first down. Aaron Alexander, 12-yard pickup. Mark Carlson on the tackle there. Diamond again. Quick drop. As he's tied in, he's still standing, Jared Ulikowski. He went backwards on that hit. John Rudzinkowski on the tackle there. And boy, he he got a good lick in on Ulikowski, and the clock stops on the officials' timeout. Carlton coming up.
Mark Carlson uh, a wee bit excited on the after the stop. I don't know why they don't tackle instead of just putting a shoulder into him and it looked like he was flipping a forearm. You, you like to see your defensive backs come in and make the tackle and assure the tackle and take the person back. Um, defensively, I, I, I just uh, would rather see those backs play that play the game and play the tackle. Here's a good look at it. No wrap up. You need to wrap up there. <laughs> a lot of shoulders being thrown there. Oh, there sure was. Carlson came up with the last tackle. The initial blow was uh, Denny Poland, who we've called several times today. Even with Carlson, you like to see them come in and finish the tackle high, low, whatever it's going to be, and put them back. Yulikowski four grabs. Remember early on in the first quarter, he had that grab down inside the 10-yard line that they called incomplete. And Army was forced to kick a field goal. So Army certainly had their opportunities today. He's going to be a big factor in their offense next year. And uh, Bobby Ross will bring new players in, and he certainly is going to be an outstanding tight end for him. Second down and six. Three minutes to play. Jones on the screen pass. First down up to the 40-yard line, 13-yard pickup. Carlton Bob Jones was the man in the first half, but man, has he been quiet until now, Jack. He sure has. And Bobby Giannotti, Giannotti, uh, Giannini makes the tackle. But he's not making the yardage like he made in the first half. That's exactly right. And as a result, you see the score 31-22. Tough pass. Jacob Murphy catches it, though, brought down. At the 35. Excellent throw right into his hands. Murphy makes the catch. Dominic signaling he's going to spike the football to stop the clock on second down. And that's so oh, he fakes the spike. Oh no. And throws it out of bounds. Aaron Alexander. Dan Marino was the first guy to do that at the Meadowlands against the Jets. Remember that? And it went no, for a touchdown. That's the first time I've seen the fake spike. Yeah. Marino did that years ago. Well, Zach probably was smart because it was not an open space in there, so he just throws it out of bounds. Little trickery trying to catch him asleep there on the, on the corners. Third down and three. Stops the clock with 2.24. One thing you'll see is Army or Air Force, they will not stop playing. They'll play full 60-minute football. Over the middle, in, and out of the hands of Corey Anderson. Jeremy Tremble was deep in the secondary and, and I believe was open, but uh, Zach did not see him. So it'll be fourth down and three. Army still has a timeout, but they desperately need a first down to keep this one alive. Mikey Stadium has uh, emptied, to say the least. Sun has dropped. Beautiful setting as you look out over the mountains. Getting a little cooler. Getting a little chilly, especially on the Army sideline. Robin straight back. Man, first down Army. Jeremy Trimble still up. Fumble, oh. of course, says they have it. The defense won when they blew that whistle. Well, it looks like they're looking for the ball. Looks like Air Force has got it. It is. Falcons football still have not gotten the signal. Yes, it is. Falcons football. Trimble battling for extra yards. And the ball was stripped. Jeremy Trimble is a pure freshman, true freshman. Has had, uh, he makes the big plays. Unfortunately, they stood him up and stripped him. So Air Force will take over on that's, the 18-yard line. That's a big turnover. That's second turnover for Army. Here's the pass, the catch. Oh, put both hands on that football. They're stripping it right there, and they pulled it out. Good defensive play. You're teaching your defensive players. You got him in a stand-up position. Go in there and strip the football, and that's exactly what Air Force did. Take the ball over with... Uh, Two minutes left in the ball game. And a handoff right up the middle. Jacob Kendrick. Army still has one timeout. And Army will take it. 
Not right now, but they'll take the timeout. You wonder why will they take the timeout when they have no chance of winning? That's just the military way. If we got a shot, we're going to take it. If we can get one more score, we're going to try to get one more score. Fisher DeBerry. Got to be happy. Mm -hmm. Eight times now, eight years in a row, he's beaten Army. 15 of the last 16 years. More happy probably because of the slide his team has been in the last three years and the end of the season. And plus the fact that he, he has a chance for avoiding a losing season with this win. Greg Washington on the tackle. Boy, he's, we've called his name and number uh, all day today. Outstanding player, one of the leading, one of the leading tacklers in the uh, uh, Conference USA. Third down and seven. Adam Fitch, his first start, will go for a W. And boy, that was quick. Jumping through the hole was Jacob Kendrick. As you, a good burst, as we yes. said. Uh, one guy to stop him. If he makes it through the hole, he's all he, he's in the secondary with nobody chasing him. And that's a first down. He did make it past the marker. Kendrick has had a big game. His numbers are not as big as Fitch or some of the others, but uh, he got some big first downs, did score a touchdown. I think you have to give credit to Dan Schaefer at fullback, who delivered a couple of huge blocks. And there's Schaefer standing right next to his buddy, Jacob Kendrick. And Air Force with 21 seconds will go on a knee. Well, we want to take think our spotter today. Yeah. Here. David Lingle. Colonel David Lingle. Colonel. A Navy guy. A Navy guy here doing a good job. We appreciate his help getting the spotting for us. Excellent ball game. It's the way we thought it was going to be a lot of scoring. It just depended on who won the turnover game, and it looked like Air Force won the turnover game. Big plays. Disappointed Bobby Raw shaking hands with Fisher DeBerry. And the Falcons and Black Knights meet in midfield to shake hands. Air Force with a big win. Good sign today. Maybe they can wind up 6-5 on the season. Today's a good start. Back to wrap it up after this.